Hey everybody, talking a little bit more about when is surgery the right option for hammer claw or mallet toes. It's really important to give uh, you know, a, a really good overview of what we're looking at. Um, and if patients have got ongoing pain after conservative options have trialed, um, you know, that's a reason to start looking towards a potential surgical option. If they're unable to wear shoes, um, if they're finding that the callus and rubbing um, is, uh, is still occurring, if there's wounds or pain, definitely um, you know, with wounds, there's some really simple surgical options that we can do in, um, in our rooms even to, to reduce some of these concerns. Um, if our patients are unable to undertake activities of daily living, um, like getting out of bed and cleaning themselves, getting food for themselves, this is of concern, particularly if it's such a simple thing that we can treat surgically. So there's a lot of different options available, but we wanna keep our patients on their feet for as long as possible in as minimal pain as possible. And that's a real win that I'm looking at. If patients are noticing that there's increase in deformity um, or there's, you know, their, pay, their, their toes have gone from really reducible and mobile, flexible, and they're now becoming rigid, they're the type of patients that we like to see sooner because we can put more conservative surgical options into place or less invasive options, which means that their recovery is going to be quicker, their pain during that recovery is going to be less, and it's more likely that we're going to get a better outcome in the long term as well. Now for patients that do have some of the comorbidities or other conditions, including diabetes mellitus, peripheral vascular disease, or peripheral neuropathy, they're definitely patients that we wanna be treating proactively. And what I mean with this is because we're really wanting to prevent any concerns with wounds um, that could be occurring from corns or just um, areas of pressure, and so, you know, we want to make sure that we're proactively treating this so that patients don't go on to develop wounds that become infected and otherwise might need an amputation. But if you're finding patients that are, you know, doing all their conservative, but they may be sick of doing it, um, they're, they're not getting wins where they want to be getting wins as far as, you know, how long they're walking for, then these are the type of patients we can potentially consult and give them a really quick, effective outcome with surgery. If you've liked this video, please hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, have a look at our other videos and we'll see you on the next session. Cheers.